I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer Campbell. I don't know why I expected anything else. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down Attention. the Lord Regent and all, all of his key allies. Living on the north side you know. of the river. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Gorma. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces, too. Hi. There is something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the high overseer in his own house. At night than it does I hope the, the tools I designed for you function to no your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing madness. here and talking to you confirms that this when is arrived, in several ways. Force from the Can I be of service to you? Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The hounds were searching a few lords and ladies in the day. They were here. I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Templeton offered to show the respect he deserves. He doesn't require as much service. Yes. Memoir, Chapter 28. Waverly, Waverly. The very name sweeps one away. She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth. She changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel, like all the boils. Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are reminded that assaulting a member of the City Watch has been made a capital offense, and guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally forfeit.
Emergency grain rations will be available in the Civil Services District at Sunrise. Please see your tax assessor to secure food coupons before requesting rations. I know the golden cat, not as a patron mark. I designed some. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. 
I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell should help the Lord Regent. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer... Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk. At the distillery. I don't think they're gonna last much longer. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. Need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting a plague. Drink till you drop, that's my motto. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brew tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cant. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. 
Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cap tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. <coughs> You can't fight for shit! Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear.
Attention Dunwall citizens. Due to criminal activity near Holger Square, the area is now under lockdown. Watchtowers and support patrols have been deployed. Any suspicious person will be assumed hostile with malicious intent. If he comes back, I'll earn another promotion. Somewhere around here. Well, this is art. Awful lousy way to make coin. Poor bastard. Stuff can't... Can they? Not a chance. I think I remember having seen this painting at my grandmother's place. She wasn't no duchess. Yeah, probably can't even sell it for... What? Here you are. Got this bastard up there.
here somewhere around here. He's down. Stay hidden for long. My gentlemen callers don't come around like they used to. You took care of it for me, didn't you? That's nice. Someone with the beautiful dark eyes. I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you? If you see him. Stop fussing with my collar, Mama. The dance is starting soon. Is my hair smooth enough? He's sure to be there. How much they give you? I said I hate telling you that.
What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean... Suspects. Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Huh? Damn! You're here somewhere, scum. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. Hey, 
bug someone else. I don't know. Stupid goddamn. I'm on some Huh? Yeah. Little birds, I've got some seed for you. They'll do what Granny says. I hear them laughing, but then they'll see what I can do. No, no, don't take anything else. I did what you said. It's just they wouldn't listen. Give me one more chance, won't you, darling? Let me prove myself to you. Like you get elixir. We be half rations for a week. I ain't catching the plague. Hand it over. Hey, you get lost. This here's a private party. Help. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there, probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. and support patrols have been deployed. Any suspicious person will be assumed hostile with malicious intent.
done already. Can't believe you lost it. I'll find you. Dunwall citizens, anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell is to report to the City Watch for immediate questioning. In this time of spiritual crisis, the Overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new High Overseer is chosen. 